Hello everyone and welcome back to the Escapist Walkthrough Guide on all prisons and how to escape it. I'm your host Fallout Nation and today I'll be showing you part 3 of uh, well, the old prisons. Now we're doing the Stalag Flute, we're continuing off where we exactly left off. And well we don't really have much stuff to do today. The main things we do have to do is find some duct tape which we have just found. And we need to increase our intellect to 80. This will allow us to make the red key. So we haven't really got much to do today. So that's good, so we can just have a little explore around the prison, even though I really know what it looks like, but you guys can see what it looks like, and really um, get to know your surroundings. That's actually the best thing to do before, uh, as soon as you enter the prison. Get to know your surroundings, that's the best thing you can do. Well, lucky enough we're not getting self-searched. We really need to get our intellect levels up and start crafting all our stuff. And then really we're just gonna get for the day and have some fun. So, uh, let's get our intellect to 80 quickly. I'm, uh, pretty certain that we, uh, we will definitely escape the prison. We have everything we need, unless we get caught by the guard, which would be a shame. But we have got a ban, and we're gonna... Well, our strength's gonna... We're gonna make our strength a little bit higher, so... We should be able to deal with a guard quite easily. But the problem is with the escape route actually is guards do tend to look um look around there and uh, make sure no one's up to any mischief. So we do have to be careful. That's why I have brought my guards outfit and they will just like keep watching you um until you make your move. So really you have to walk away and go back, otherwise they'll just stand there. It's rather annoying, but still. If we do not escape in this uh uh, video, I will make a video instantly because I just want to finish the prison and get on to the next one. So that'd be three videos in one day. This is such my second video. Because I did say if I was in a good mood, I would make another video. And I am in a fantastic mood. So I was really happy to make a second video. And that's mainly because I've been getting lots of views on my, uh, my videos recently. But um, please make sure to subscribe because I haven't earned any subscribers since my uh, first area, uh, uh, video. Uh, so... Please make, uh, be sure to subscribe, it would really help out a lot. I, I would really be happy if you could subscribe. So thank you for that. And please uh, don't forget to like and comment on feedback. And if you are stuck in the prison and this guy didn't help you, just tell me in the comment section um, uh, if you need any advice and I will tell you exactly where to go, what to do and what you need. So if you're having trouble, don't worry about it. This is uh, more of a walkthrough than a let's play, even though I do like to have a bit of fun. Um, this is mainly a walkthrough. I'm showing you how to get the prisons done, thick and fast, and in the easiest way as possible, which I've found. Now, I'm not I'm not like uh, a advanced escapist player, but I do know how to get out all the prisons um, in an advanced way, like in a, a, a half decent way, like in a few days, let's just say that. Now the last two prisons will take more than 10 days I think, 10 days or more because mainly San Pacho, that's the one I struggle with the most. Iron Gate's not too bad but San Pacho, oh my god I hate that prison. We may have to have quite a few episodes on that one. Well, what I'm doing at the moment, the amount of subscribers I actually have is how many videos I'm going to make. So I'm making 7 videos right now. Um, this is gonna keep going until I like get to 20 subscribers and then I'll just keep making them because I don't want to have like loads more videos and subscribers that's that's always not good that's not good at all um, so if you guys subscribe I could get more content to you faster and plus it'd make me happy so I'd, I would upload a lot of videos each day because it would really make my day so that's what's happening on the channel at the moment that's my upload stu uh, s uh, schedule um, so now we really need to start getting like our speed up and our strength. Um, we have done a bit, but we do need to do more. I'm probably gonna try and max out my speed actually, um, so I can run around nice and fast. That would be pretty useful actually. So if you're, uh, if you need a reminder how to make anything, the cutters is two files and a duct tape, and you can upgrade them with a file and a duct tape. That's really all you have to do. And the bed dummy is two pillows and a bed sheet. And the red key is um uh molten plastic and a 
uh, a key mold, and you need to get the, the party to actually make the, uh, the key mold with the red key. Um, sorry if that's a bit confusing. Um, and the guy's outfit, you can either steal it from the laundry, but unfortunately there isn't a laundry job in this one. So, um, you will have to be up a guard. And sorry if I wasn't talking for a few seconds, my dad did come in my room, but I can't do anything about that, sorry. Alright, so uh, let's get our speed up quite a bit. Uh, like I said, speed does not really matter, to be honest, because I still feel like you could run the same speed, it's really not useful, and you run quite fast enough to outrun uh, all the prisoners and uh, the guards, so I really don't understand why you need speed. But for your attack speed, that is a different matter. It is always nice to have a good attack speed. Sorry if the video is glitching out, um, or yeah, any background noises from my family or outside. Um, I really can't help that. I was just checking my attack speed there, if you're wondering. So now I'm actually... Do you see the generator down there? Uh, to the left, I just walked past it. Um, that's where you have to turn off, and that's where the red door was, and that's where we're going to go through. So, I, I, like I said, red, two red keys are extremely helpful, because... If you have to turn your generator on, off and on, and off and on, like, because the guards are interrupting you, um, it's always nice to have two red keys. One red key is quite risky, to be honest. I found two a lot more easier. So th there's the generator right there. You could cut through the fence, but... The guards, it's quite easy for the guards to spot it, and that means you need three wires to make the fence, uh, fence, the fake fence. So if you want to do that, um, uh, that strategy, not my one, uh, just remember it's three wires to make that. Just keep that in mind. Now this is probably not the best strategy out of everyone's, but this has been really useful to me. I've, I could have done it in one day, but I just didn't want to take the risk to be honest. I would have to cut through two fences, and I really wouldn't want to do that. I didn't even have a fake fence cover, so it'd be such a big risk. I mean, I reckon I could do this in one day, it's just I really don't want to risk it. Two days more safer, and I have more time to talk to you guys and explain. So, it's all good. Let's get our speed up a tiny bit. Alright, I'm not sure how um, long we should go for. Somewhere in the 30s, I would say. Oh, we, we ran out of, uh, we were fatigued, we were too fatigued, so, uh, I have to go to the showers. Uh, see, my run speed is still quite slow, so. Yeah, we actually, yeah, we need to get our strength up a bit, because if we do run into a guard, that's going to be very, very bad, and we're, we're going to need to be ready to fight him. 25 health is, I, I would say, what you need to beat a guard. I think you can actually one-shot a guard on this prison with 25 um, uh, health, and, um, yeah, when you have 25 health that's an, and a baton, that's enough to one-shot um, a guard. Because when you're at 25 health, your attack boosts up uh, plus one. So, yeah. So, uh, it's getting uh, quite uh, late into the day. Uh, we'll be able to escape soon. Or, at least I hope so. I really do hope we uh, manage to escape. I'd hate to make three parts for this prison. 
I just need to remember to put the bed dummy in. I don't want to forget that. What I'm actually going to do is um, just like run around in vocal area for a bit so I, it doesn't become locked down because a lot of guards are going to be looking for me and I don't want that. Okay. Alright, I need to put the bed dummy in and I need to run around here for a bit. Alright, bed bed dummy. Need to do that now. Alright, so we got the bed dummy down, it's time to make our move. Alright, hopefully I can finish this before midnight so I don't want it counting as two uh three days. Oh, let's turn the generator off. Oh. Alright. Oh, there we are. Oh, it's A. Sorry, I pressed X. Oh, see see what I mean? There's so many guards. And, like, people will walk past. Oh, no. I'm just gonna walk over here and hopefully he goes. Oh, god damn it. Alright. We need to move fast. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we can do this, we can do this. Oh no! Alright. Put him by that. Oh yes, we done it. Yes! Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe and like. Thank you so much and peace out.